Washington State has a law on the books requiring all pharmacies to stock and deliver all lawfully prescribed drugs, including contraception. But Mr. Duncan worked to take that hard-fought access away. In 2016, he filed a brief urging the Supreme Court to take up a challenge to the Washington State Pharmacy Law in order to strike it down. And he also worked to deny access to constitutional rights to terminate pregnancies. In the whole women's case, Mr. Duncan filed a brief defending an unconstitutional Texas law that restricted access to safe and legal abortions at the care of qualified health providers. Ultimately, the Washington women's health case, the Supreme Court rightly struck down this very deceptive Texas law, finding it had nothing to do with medical necessity and placed an undue burden on women. So, in the landmark case of Oberfell versus Hodges, Mr. Duncan authored an amicus brief which argued against same-sex marriage, and he has represented North Carolina in their defense of the, quote, bathroom bill, which discriminated against transgender individuals. We need to expand the rights of the LGB community, not nominate a judge who believes that we should roll back these laws that are so important to the individuals in my state. Mr. Duncan also defended the North Carolina's restrictive voting law, which limited early voting, prevented same-day registration, and placed limitations on where people could vote. The appeals court found that these restrictions violated the Voting Rights Act because they were disproportionately affecting African Americans. So we do not need to see a judge on our bench who are trying to limit people's participation in our democracy while we need to protect their access to voting. It is no secret that the Trump administration has been chipping away at women's health care and constitutional rights by using every tool at his disposal. I am especially troubled that he is intent on nominating judges like this one who do not respect the settled law of Roe v. Wade. The administration is trying to do every attempt to roll back these important privacy laws. Kyle Duncan, the nominee that we are considering, has spent decades doing the same. So that is the reason I oppose his confirmation. I urge my colleagues to do the same, and I hope that they will follow in making sure we protect these important rights.